One man's trash is a northern neck man's treasure. He's turning old boats left for dead into works of art that are not only seaworthy, but will turn any head. New this morning, 10 on your side, Jason Marks takes you to Pirate's Cove. You won't find Pirate's Cove on any map. Say, Where's the Northern Neck at? I don't know where the Northern Neck is. But it's here along the Chesapeake Bay. Nobody does because it's it's just a dead end place. It's a it's a place that frozen in, is in time. Where the treasure doesn't need to be dug up. It's you know really, I, I think really neat um, to think about the history was here. Dan Corder isn't from the Northern Neck, though the retired firefighter calls it home. You know I was blessed. I had a really great career. A self-proclaimed tinker. Porter even created a model fire station in his garage. You know, the, the cool thing about my firehouse is, is that it just reminds me of the life that I had, you know, past. Attached to that is this small workshop where you can find Dan Quarter daily. <laughs> it's where imagination becomes reality. I mean, this is more, this is really not a shop, it's an art studio, is what it is. But when you get Dan on the water, <laughs> You can truly take in his vision. You gotta be the coolest kid on the block if you got a pirate ship. <laughs> As you see, he turns boats left for dead into vessels even Blackbeard would be proud to own. Every one of these boats that you see in the 23 that I've built were boats that you could not have given away. Quarter's now working on number 24. He sold many of them to restaurants, business owners, and even Disney came calling. I've got one in Louisiana that's floating in a guy's uh, swimming pool who's got a ton of money that wanted it as floating bar. This 21st century pirate went from resuscitating people to resuscitating boats. Yep. Both are equally rewarding, but one has a lot more profitability to it. For Quarter, building the ships is about rebirth. Rebirth. That coming from a man who found his world wrecked two years ago. I mean, she was uh, she was just so special in so many ways, and I and in fact, she always gave me a lot of inspiration about doing these things. When his first mate Denise died after battle with cancer, ending a 14-year romance. First thing I see in the morning is the last thing I see at night. Using her spirit, Quarter continues to transform. I don't know. I mean, maybe the reason why I'm doing so well with these things and is keeping me occupied is that she's, you know, I kind of feel a presence with her. One man's trash into another man's bounty. I'd offer you guys rum, but I guess you guys are on the job, right? And with a fantasy voyage still on his mind. I just have one lifelong goal left, and then I can die peacefully. The History Channel calls me and tells me that they want to do a show called Extreme Pirate Ship Makeover. Then then I'll be happy. For photojournalist Curtis Akers, you are looking at a pirate ship. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. Now, the last time Dan Corder listed a pirate ship for sale on Facebook Marketplace, people shared it more than 100,000 times. In case you're wondering what one of his pirate ships costs, the last one sold for nearly $20,000.